Hi everyone, welcome to Sri Sai online training. So today, in this session of Core Java, we are going to discuss the following topic Java programming editors, Notepad softwares, and steps for Java programming, first program in Java, and some basics of Java programming. So before starting with these topics for today's session, we'll have a small revision what we discussed in the last session. So in the last session, we have downloaded the Java software from www.oracle.com. Okay, and from there we have downloaded JDK. Okay, so Java development kit for Windows 64 bit operating system. And we have installed this in our system in C colon program files Java JDK 15. So this is our folder where we have installed it. So Java development kit. So Java development kit means here we'll have Java compiler will have Java runner and will have Java related library files. Okay, so this is what we call it as Java development kit. So now Java development kit and JRE are integrated into the same folder. Previously, it was two different folders and JRE stands for Java runtime environment, which contains JVM. So JVM is responsible for running java programs on any system independent of operating system hardware it is both compiled as well as interpreted language and finally we have set the java path okay in os environment variables okay in os environment variables we have set the java path so java path is available in c colon program files java jdk bin so this folder contains Java compiler, Java runner, and other Java related files, which helps us to compile and run Java program from any folder, any drive. Otherwise we have to write and run our Java programs only from bin folder. So which is not advisable. Hence to run, to compile, to work with Java programs from any folder, we have to set the Java path in operating system environment variables. It is like taking permission from operating systems to compile and run Java programs from any folder. So this is what is all about small revision for the last session. So now let us start with what are the editors which helps us to work with Java programming to write a Java program. So to write a Java program, basically we require a text editor. So the commonly used text editors are Notepad, notepad plus plus edit plus so these three are mainly used for core java programming okay and then we also have advanced editors like we have eclipse my eclipse netbeans so these are used for developing real-time programs using advanced java okay so we have to work with eclipse my Eclipse as well as NetBeans with advanced Java using servlets, JSP's Tomcat server. So in this Notepad++ is one of the efficient and flexible editor for core Java programming. I'm already using this software Notepad++. Okay, so we have to download this Notepad++ software from this particular website, HTTPS Notepad hyphen plus hyphen plus dot org okay so let us go to this website open the browser and type this in the address bar notepad plus plus dot org right so it will go to the notepad plus plus website click on download which is available on the left side of your options so the latest version is 7.9.2 so click on that 7.9.2 okay so here we have 32 bit 
downloading installer as well as 64 bit downloading installer so our operating system is 64 bit so click on downloader install for 64 bit okay so downloading will start it is just 3 to 4 mb 3.9 mb very small but very powerful editor okay so what is the speciality of this editor i'm going to discuss in one by one coming topics okay right so once the downloading is done open that in the downloads folder so once the installation is done in your downloads folder so just copy this file okay and then go to the working directory g colon ssot java core under that go to softwares so paste it here right and now double click on this and start the installation 7.9.2 so do you want to install notepad plus plus software click on yes okay so select the language as english right so it will start the installation wizard so simply click on next agree the license agreement so it will be installed in c colon program files notepad plus plus click on next so select the custom installation and put tick mark for all the options all the features click on next so create a desktop shortcut and say install button so notepad plus plus is already running i'll just close this okay right and say retry so when you say retry automatically it will start the installation okay so it is a very small software it will occupy just 10 mb 10 mb of space in your system and the downloaded file is just 4 mb so very flexible and very efficient software to work with course java programming as well as python programming as well as ui technologies programming as well as other basic programmings so installation is done put a tick mark for run notepad plus plus and click on finish right so it should open the notepad plus plus software automatically right so we just got some information about the notepad plus plus software okay so no need to read this so this is how we have to download and install notepad plus 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 software in our windows system or any other system mac or linux so now let us understand what are the steps for writing and executing java programs so step one we have to write the java program and save the java program in our working directory so basically we save the java program with file name dot java as extension okay right second that we have to go to the command prompt and we have to compile the java program so for compiling the java program we use java c command so what is this compiling will understand step by step next step three we have to run the java program so for running the java program we use the command java and finally we have to verify the output of the program okay so output of the program in the command prompt so step one writing and saving the java program step two compiling the java program step three running the java program step four verifying the output of the java program four steps okay so we'll, we're going to write a first program in java okay right so for this i'm going to use sample.java i'm going to write a program write a java program to display hello world welcome message i'm going to display hello world welcome message on the output screen okay right so but before that i would like to have some shortcuts notepad plus plus shortcuts okay 
So the shortcuts goes like this. So control plus N will get a new page. Okay. So control plus S will get a saving the program. Okay. Uh, next coming to control plus C. So control plus C we are going to copy the text. Okay. Next control V. We are going to paste the text. Okay. Next control X. We are going to cut the text and then uh, we also have control A. Uh, select all text in a current page. And then we have shift plus arrow. Okay, shift plus arrow. We can use left arrow, right arrow, up arrow, down arrow. So this is used for, okay, selection of text in particular direction so selection of text in particular direction so we are supposed to use this shortcuts whenever it is necessary we have to use as maximum as possible keyboard shortcuts rather than mouse okay so w a j p write a java program okay so w a j p write a java program to display hello world welcome message on the output screen right so now we'll take a new page so let us use new page shortcut control n so i'm pressing control n i got a new page so in the new page first i'll take the comments okay so program to display hello world welcome message on output screen so basically output screen the technical word goes like this for output screen we have to call it as console okay output screen means console where you give the input where you see the output technically it is called as console so this is called as comments comments are given with two forward slash comments provide description or information about a program and next we have to write the class in java we write everything inside a class without class there is no java program so how to write a class so class sample okay so in sample s capital it is a notation but not a rule so every java class starts with a capital letter it is a standard notation okay right so inside this class we write the main function or main method how public static void main string of orcs okay right so this is our main class with main method so we have to save this program in our working directory so our class name is sample select that and say copy after that save the program control s so we are going to save this program in our working directory g colon ssot java core programs and i'm going to save this as sample s capital it is a notation standard you can give lowercase or uppercase but first letter should be capital so our main class name is sample so sample dot java is the file extension so generally whatever is our main class name make sure that the file name is also same it is a standard notation okay so sample dot java s capital save so the colors also changed so this is what is a speciality of notepad plus plus you will get the comments in green color you will get the keywords in violet color okay right now inside this okay so technically this is called as dynamic editor okay it will give 
colorization also it will give you the suggestions so whenever you are typing anything automatically it will give you the suggestions for example system s y s so since it is a java program we have already saved i got system class so system dot out dot print ln so here we'll write hello world okay so hello world so this is my first message so system dot out dot print ln so what is this system so system is a predefined class which represents current computer system what is this out out is an object which represents standard output device monitor what is this println so println is a function or method for printing some text data message value on the standard output device of your current computer system right so save this program we have to give the message in double quotations so double quotations indicates string in programming language now come to the command prompt where we have saved the program g colon ssot java core java programs so check the programs directory structure so we have sample dot java here okay so if you compile this program so step one is done writing and saving the program so step two we have to compile the program for compiling the program we have to use the command java c followed by your java file name sample dot java and press enter so if your program does not have any mistakes it will successfully generate a bytecode and the extension for bytecode is class name dot class so what is our class name here sample so sample dot class you will get the bytecode so check it out dir <clears throat> so previously we had only sample dot java now we have our class name sample dot class so technically it is called as bytecode it is understood only by jvm and this bytecode is platform independent architecture neutral and it is both and it is interpreted by jvm to give the required output now we don't have any error in the program we successfully got the bytecode so what happens if you have an error in the program for example i'll remove this semicolon from the end of the line 7 save this come to the command prompt recompile the program so use up arrow down arrow to get the previous commands enter okay so it will show the error saying that semicolon is expected at the last of the line 7 in sample dot java program so put semicolon here save the program and then recompile the program now no error check the bytecode so we got sample dot java as the bytecode sample dot class as the bytecode so this bytecode we are going to run to get the required output how java followed by sample main class name so what is our main class name class which contains the main method sample okay no need to give dot class it is taken automatically okay enter so we'll get the message here hello world so hello world welcome message on the output screen right so now i want to print one more message here it's very simple system dot out dot print ln. welcome to java session so save this come to the command prompt so whenever we do changes to the program recompile it okay no error bytecode is generated class name dot class and then run java main class name you will get the output welcome to java session right so now i want to print one more message here so system dot out dot print ln i'll print here all the best okay so save this 
so whenever we do changes to the program save it immediately come to the command prompt recompile step 2 rerun step 3 verify the output of the program step 4 so first message hello world second message welcome to java session third session all the best okay right so here so now small uh, technical points here what is the command for compiling so in the command prompt the command for compiling is java c file name dot java so what is our file name sample dot java what is the command for running so the command for running is java class name no need to give dot class it is taken automatically so simply we have to say java followed by sample okay so this is the command what we are supposed to use in the command prompt or terminal or shell okay and for running the java class file name dot class is not required because jvm takes dot class file automatically okay so for running we have to use the file for compiling we have to use file name for running we have to use the main class name okay so i'll write it here for compiling use file name dot java next for running use okay main class name so in our program main class name is sample because this is our main class name sample okay so program execution starts with main method and you'll get the output from system dot out dot println so what is the flow of execution so the flow of execution goes like this okay so flow of execution of java program so first we have written sample dot java so this one we have compiled okay so for compiling we use java c command after successful compilation we got class name dot class this is technically called as bytecode and this bytecode we have to run okay so when we run this jvm will give you the required output so this is the basic flow of execution of a java program writing and saving the program compiling the program okay running the program and verifying the output of a java program so for compiling java c file name for running java main class name program execution starts with main method and we'll get the output of the program so now let us understand basics of java programming so under this basics of java programming we are going to discuss some important note points for the first program so the first point goes like this okay so in java program we write everything inside a class including main method okay including main method right so what is this main method so main method is starting point of execution of java program so in java method means okay function so basically function means method in java okay so second point java programs are saved with file name dot java as extension okay example sample dot java sample one dot java or sample two dot java file name dot java as extension next point three make sure class name and file name are same but not compulsory so make sure that your main class name and file name are same but not compulsory okay right and then after writing and saving the program we have to compile the program so what is compilation 
it is the process of converting Java program into bytecode and this is done by Java compiler and the command for compiling is Java C file name dot Java so the example goes like this Java C sample dot Java okay so compiling means converting the Java program into bytecode so Java program means dot Java will be converted into dot class okay so provided no errors in program we should not have any errors in the program okay next fifth what is this byte code so byte code is a special code which is understood by a special piece of software known as JVM Java virtual machine so Java virtual machine is inbuilt with JDK what we have already installed and the bytecode extension is dot class file okay right so basically bytecode so bytecode means every instruction of our program is one byte is one byte in that file so whatever the instructions we are writing it will be one byte in that particular file okay right and then sixth point so running the byte code by JVM will get the output of the program so for running the byte code the command is Java followed by main class name okay we have to run the main class name because program execution starts with main method so the command goes like this Java sample because sample is the main class name in our first program and we'll get the output of the program okay and this running is done by JVM okay so JVM runs the bytecode to get output Java virtual machine and seventh point goes like then program execution starts with main method which is a starting point of execution of a Java program so when we run the main class okay JVM searches for main method so JVM searches for main method in main class okay and program execution starts with main method public static void main so here we have used system dot out dot print ln. so what is system so system is a predefined class which represents current computer system out is a predefined object which represents standard output device which is monitor or <coughs> display of your system println is a predefined method which is used to print some text or string or data or value on the standard output device of your current computer system and finally in Java text or string is a collection of characters represented in double quotations for example hello in double quotations welcome to Sri Sai Java session in double quotation so here space is also one character in a string okay so space is also one character in a string right and finally in general Java class name starts with capital letter if it is two or more words only first letter should be capital so first letter should be capital without spaces and this is a standard or notation standard or notation in Java programming okay in Java programming right so if you see here system is a predefined class so system SS capital so Java is also following that standard 
class name starts with capital letter for example okay it goes like this class sample one s capital class demo example d capital e capital without any spaces okay so these are the first program technical points to work with java programming so that is what is all about today's session in core java java programming editors working with notepad plus plus software downloading and installing and notepad plus plus shortcuts steps for java programming first program in java and basics of java programming right so these are the topics what we have discussed today in core java programming so this is how we work with first program in java using java programming editors steps for java programming okay and some basics of writing a java program with first 10 basic points right thank you for watching and listening to this session have a nice day